How's it going, folks? I'm Mark from Like-Minded Lunatics. And I'm Lottie. What are we doing? I'm, I'm confused about what we're doing today. So I initially thought this was going to be a uh, a Lottie's Rockication. Okay. And then I did a little bit of reading, and I found out that I had some things to learn. So this might be a matchup. I don't know what we're doing. So uh, uh, my wife and I are going to go see Joan Jett uh, this Wednesday, and we saw her like last month as well. She's one of my favorite singers of all time. I was, oh, wow. Are you going to dress up this time? Probably. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the songs that she does is a song called Androgynous. So we're doing Pride Month stuff this month. Okay. And I thought, you know what? I'll let Lottie listen to Androgynous. I love that song that Joan Jett wrote. She didn't write it. Uh, it's a cover uh, of the Replacements song. So I, I was looking into it, so I thought, you know what? Why don't we just do a matchup? We'll take a look at the Replacements, and then we'll take a look at a version with Joan Jett, uh, Miley Cyrus, and transgender punk artist Laura Jane Grace. Uh, so they, they did a cover version as part of a fundraiser uh, for LGBT uh, young folks. Uh, it's, a, it's an organization called the Happy Hippie Foundation, nonprofit organization. Oh, I that, like the name. I know, that rallies young people to fight injustice facing homeless youth, LGBT youth, and other vulnerable populations. So I thought we could take a listen to it. This sounds good. Both versions. Is that okay? Yeah. Can I say something real quick? Go ahead. Uh, for those of you out there, I have noticed this over many videos, and I just finally got Mark to explain it to me. He makes me sit probably about five or six inches ahead, and that makes my head look significantly bigger than his. I don't have an, an overwhelmingly large head. I mean, I do have a big head, well, but it's not as big as it appears here. That's fully Mark's doing. What I like is that it's circular. <laughs> It's it's symmetrical, your head. I thought it was more oblong. No, well, it kind of is. My friend Jim's got one of them lumpy heads. It looks like a planet that's been battered with asteroids, and I hope he's watching this. <laughs> I'm sure he will be. Thank you. Uh, so this song, this song originally came out in 1984. Oh I did God. not know that. So uh, Androgynous is a song by The Replacements that was featured on their 84 album, Let It Be. The song, which has been described as decades ahead of its time, describes in positive terms a romantic relationship between two gender non-conforming individuals and expresses hope that in future such people and their personal relationships will be more accepted. Aww. So what I thought we could do is listen to that original version first and then take a listen to Joan Jett, Cyrus, and Jane Grace's cover. I like this. All right. Typically, we don't do beverages with matchups, but I'm going with an acoustic metal because there's a lot of acoustic stuff in this and, song. And, and Mark never has anything for me to drink. Not true. So I brought a jug of tea. <laughs> He's just a weirdo who blink, brings a huge thermos of tea. All right. Let's go to 1980. Let's go 1984 androgynous. Dick, he's wearing a skirt. Here comes Jane, you know she's sporting a chain. Same hair revolution, same build evolution. Tomorrow, who's gonna fuss? And they love each other so. And draws closer than you know, love each other so. Now, have you heard this? I have never heard this. It's sweet, isn't it? It is sweet. Now, uh, from what I know, because I rem I've, I've heard of the replacements because they were around in, in the same time when I was listening to other stuff. I don't think I ever actually listened to the replacements, although this album cover looks familiar. He was a very unhappy person. Is this correct? I don't know. I'm going to be quite honest here. Aren't you the guy who knows stuff? I know stuff about Joan Jett. Like I said, I was I was anticipating just doing a Joan Jett thing, and then I saw, oh, well, this oh. is not her song. Okay. I'll allow it. So allow it. maybe folks in the comments can help us out here. Oh, that would be nice. If they know, they can put it in the comments. It would be nice. Because I, 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 for some reason, I remember reading that he was a... An, he was not he, a happy he, person. He was not happy. He was not well. Mm, that's not good. I hope I hope he's better if that was the case. I, I don't know that that... He might not be with us. Is he, that what you're he, saying? That's kind of what I'm thinking, but okay. I could be wrong. Okay. But I don't know. Don't get him wrong. Don't get him mad. He might be a father, but he's sure a dad. She don't need... 
advice it is sent to her She's happy with the way she looks She's happy with her gender And they love each other so Androgynous Closer than you know Love each other so Androgynous Was the awe. It, the awe is that line will be laughed at the way you're laughed at now. Yeah. That's just such a, because people are. People are laughed at because or, or they were, I they still are, I guess, you still know, are. for 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 not fitting what is what is the norm. But they're right, because at some point everything that is outlandish becomes a little less outlandish. Yeah. And, and 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 the world, it, it's too slow for my taste, but it does become uh, kinder, I think. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully it does. Don't make me sad again, Mark. Oh, no. <laughs> God <laughs> dang it! Boy, and something needs girl. They're both of the same. They're overjoyed in this world. Same hair, revolution, unisex. Evolution Tomorrow is gonna fuss And tomorrow Dick is wearing a dress Tomorrow Jane is wearing a dress Future outcast And then all the last And today the people Just the way that they please The way they tried to do In the last centuries And they love each other So Actually like that they end on that kind of discord off note. Yeah. yeah, it fits the song thematically. It does. I love that. It's a mess. <laughs> that's that's the way it goes. Well, I thought I would show you now the uh, the version. Now, folks are gonna come at me because Joan actually has a a narrative music video for this that came out like twenty years ago or something. Um, so she did it that long ago. Yeah, a good while ago. Um, but I chose this version with Miley Cyrus and Laura Jane Grace because I thought it kind of encapsulated Pride a little bit better. Oh. Um, so we've got Miley who identifies as bi. We've got uh, uh, Laura Jane Grace who's transgender and Joan who's a lesbian. So I thought that that kind of fit better. Let's do it. So people come at me if you want, but that's the reason I chose this one. So here we go. The other version of Androgynous. Dick, he's wearing a skirt. Here comes Jane, you know she's sporting a chain. Same hair, revolution, same build, evolution. Tomorrow, who's gonna bust? Did you see what just happened? No! Laura Jane Grace steps back to let uh, Joan sing, and Joan pushes her back. Uh, does she? Watch. Let me push it back. <laughs> no, you're back on the mic. You're back on the mic, girl. Go. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Her. She's happy the way she looks. She 
Boy, Miley's got a voice on her, don't she? She does. She does. I like, okay, you know what I wonder? What's that? It feels like uh, the replacements version was a sadder version. This was the comment I was going to make. Go it, ahead. It feels sadder, mm -hmm. but that feels right for when he would have wrote this. Yeah. Because it would have been a hard life for those two. But this is a, a, a softer version it's a more melodic version, even though it's the same tune, because I feel like some of that weight has been lifted. And these three women are all happy. <laughs> That's my feeling, too, that this, is, this, this version has more of a fuck you, I'm happy vibe. Yeah. Than the replacements. Ooh. The replacements version did seem to be from a really dark place. Yes. And this seems to be from more of a, a revolutionary place, like... This is how it is. This is here. We're here. And say what you want. We're gonna. Ha we're happy. <laughs> three beautiful people are belting it right out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now something meets boy, and something meets girl. They both are the same. They're overjoyed in this world. I'm also gonna say this. Joan Jett has a voice that's like a punch to the mouth. What is what does that mean? <laughs> it feels the way she sings things. I don't know if it's because of like where she's from, but she's got that kind of northeasterner like uh, aggression to it. Yes. Okay. When she goes, okay. but he sure ain't a dad. <laughs> like it feels like Jesus Christ. Don't get in her way. She will pop you in the mouth. That, doesn't she have? A I, I yes. I I bet she has to a few people, and I have no doubt. I, I have no problem seeing that happen. Yeah. Uh, and the way she's saying this too, it seems like don't mess with Joan. <laughs> Don't mess with her. <laughs> Same hair, revolution, unisex, evolution. Tomorrow who's gonna frost? And tomorrow Dick is wearing pants. Tomorrow Jane is wearing a dress. Future outcasts now. They don't last now. Today the people dress the way that they please. The way they try to do. Now what I love here is that we didn't end on a dissonant chord. We le le we left on the girls giggling. Yes, it's a happier song. It's a happier song. Now. It's a happier rendition. They did a really good job with it. It's just a bouncier. It's a bouncier song now. It really is. And I, but I do think that speaks to the credit of the replacements writing such a beautiful song. That can be interpreted. They can hold those two meanings simultaneously, and they change no lyrics. They, they, oh, yeah. No, they didn't right. even change the arrangement. Like, literally, musically, it's the same song. It's just the way that they sang it changed its meaning. I love that. To me, that's... That was, that was very nice. I've never seen... I've never, I've never heard the, either version of this song, and I liked them both. The first one broke my heart. It did. And the second one made me say, ah, I could dance to this It one. brought you up a little, right? <laughs> yes, it like, if you heard this at a picnic, it would fit right yeah, in, wouldn't uh, it? Uh, that's, that's a, a nice song. salad. That's right. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, folks, I hope you check out some of our other Pride content. We've put a lot of work into Pride this month. We did, didn't we? We did. We put out a lot of stuff this month that we're super proud of. Uh, some stuff that Lottie and I were shocked to see uh, on the Friday Night Reaction videos. You know, there were some that were like, what is happening right now? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> There'll be a lot of fun. There'll be a lot of fun. They'll be good. We had fun. We had it, fun. It, it was, we, we're not traumatized by anything. Not by that. Not by that. <laughs> So let us know in the comments what you think, folks. Check out some of our other stuff. Take care of yourselves. Adios. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> then why is my head still bigger than yours? I'm, I'm, I'm about two, two steps behind you so that we look a little bit like... That's when I have you step forward. But that makes me look bigger. That makes my head look like it's a planet, Mark, no, it compared just... to your... God. Ha <laughs> ha!